trying to glow up and be that girl made me the unhealthiest I have ever been. And I am so happy you clicked on this video because I'm going to tell you exactly how to avoid the mistake that I had to learn not to make the hard way. This video is gonna be your guide to finding your most consistent, healthy habits without having to burn yourself out or feel exhausted or restricted in what you're doing with your nutrition, your fitness, and your self-care. This is the method that I have used with so many clients who come to me because they feel like they have tried everything to be healthy, both mentally and physically, and they just can't figure out how to be consistent and how to feel good about themselves without having to put themselves through hell to get there. Being consistent in your wellness and feeling consistently good about yourself is not difficult when you have the right tools at your fingertips, and I'm going to give you those tools today. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, I'm a certified health coach, and I'm here to help you have your most consistent healthy habits and feel your most body confident yet without having to overwhelm yourself, overthink, or put yourself through restrictive practices so that you can level up all areas of your life your mindset, your fitness, your nutrition, your relationships, your career, everything. Now, the big mistake that I made in my own journey, this hard lesson that I had to learn that made me the most unhealthy I have ever been was being too all or nothing, being too much of a perfectionist with my wellness. I used to be somebody who could never take a rest day from the gym, would obsessively count calories, could never honor cravings because that would make me eat bad foods. I was always working towards this perfect body that I had an idea of in my head while also trying to be perfect in my career, in my relationships, in everything. And it was exhausting. Even when I was the smallest I've ever been, even when I was consistently working out, eating healthy, moving up in my career, I was miserable. And I eventually got so exhausted and so burnt out from this that I lost everything. I lost all of the progress that I had made because I was so mentally and physically unwell deep down in a way that other people couldn't see. I remember hitting that goal weight, getting that promotion in the same month of my life and realizing that I was still so unhappy with myself. I thought that when I finally got to that point where I was doing enough, I would feel comfortable and confident in my body and who I was. And I remember looking in the mirror in that day and just thinking, I still hate myself. And I realized that the problem wasn't what I was doing, it was how I felt about myself and how I felt about the habits that I had. Nothing was ever good enough for me. My obsession with glowing up, with being that girl, with being perfect in my wellness, it had literally brought me to the lowest point in my life. Now, luckily I hit rock bottom so that you don't have to. And I've learned in the past five years how to have consistent health habits with my nutrition, with my fitness, with my self-care, with my career, with my relationships, with every area of my life so that I can feel comfortable and confident and stop falling off the wagon, stop going through these waves of all or nothing, being all in, being so fit, being so consistent, but in a way that it just makes you burn out. I've had countless clients who have had the same problem, so I've figured out down to a T the exact method that you need to use in order to be consistent and feel like you're doing enough. And I'm gonna share that with you now. The first thing that you need to change is this tendency that you have to go all or nothing with your habits. If you're not sure if this applies to you, then let me know if you're one of these people. You love to make plans for all of the changes that you're gonna make, all of the healthy meals you're gonna eat, all of the times that you're gonna go to the gym. You love to write them down in your journal or your planner or a note in your phone. You love to schedule yourself out down to the minute. It makes you really excited to do this because you feel like you're finally taking control of your wellness and it feels really good for a moment. You might do this with travel plans, with career goals, with anything in your life where you do want to level up. You go all in and get super excited about the visions that you have for the future. But you try to implement too much at once, it gets overwhelming and you either never start or you start for a little bit and you eventually fall off track. With my clients, this is the ones that love to start on Monday and say, I'm gonna go to the gym five, six days a week for the rest of time. They do it for two weeks and then they're exhausted and they stop going at all. Some of my clients decide that they're gonna eat healthy starting Monday. So they go to the grocery store, they spend $200 plus on groceries that are all good foods. And then they get so overwhelmed by the concept of having to come home from work and actually cook those meals that they just end up ordering takeout. Or maybe you're the type that decides you're gonna be someone that listens to podcasts or meditates or journals. So you do it once or twice, but then you can't make the habit stick. 
because you have this idea in your head that you want to be someone that journals or meditates every single day for a certain amount of time. And so you just stop doing it completely. This is going all in, but then everything starts to fall apart and you slowly go back down into the nothing of the all or nothing cycle. This is the cycle that I got trapped in for so long and what made me feel like I had to try all of these different things to fix myself. I would go all in and then I would totally fall off the wagon with whatever new diet or fitness plan I was trying to implement and getting back into that nothing where I'd fallen off the habits, I was back to square one, made me feel terrible about myself. This is why you end up feeling burnt out because the people that have healthy habits and positive mindsets consistently are not just superhumans. They have figured this out for themselves that you can't go all in and stay consistent. So now that you know that the cycle isn't working for you, you need to break the cycle. And that's the hardest part, but I know how to do that and I know how to help you do it too. If you've identified with this video so far, you're probably not going to like what I have to say next, but I'm just being honest. Especially if you're a perfectionist or a people pleaser, this might not be your favorite thing to hear, but it is what works. Now, going all or nothing means that you jump way too fast all the way into the full-fledged expression of a habit, such as going to the gym every day, eating healthy every day, leveling up your career at a rate that just isn't realistic. And instead of taking one giant step, we need to take a lot of small steps. Again, it's not satisfying if you're a perfectionist, if you're impatient, if you're anything like me, but it is what works. Now, take your big goal, whatever it is, maybe it's going to the gym consistently, eating more nutrient dense meals, getting a promotion, finding a partner, and I need you to write that down and then break it down into smaller steps. So if we take the example of just wanting to go to the gym more, you want to be someone that goes to the gym five days a week. The all or nothing version of you would say, starting Monday, I'm going to the gym five days a week and I'm going to do this for as long as possible and it won't last very long. Now the dream girl version of you, which is what I call my clients because they work with me in my dream girl circle, which is my group program where I teach them exactly how to do this. The dream girl version of you is going to go step by step as if you're going up a little staircase. The dream girl version of you is going to break down going to the gym five days a week into much smaller pieces, such as going to the gym one time a week or signing up for a new gym or getting those new workout clothes because that's the excuse you've been making for why you haven't been going. Maybe it's laying your outfits out the night before. Maybe it's putting it into your planner when you're going to go to the gym, but just break this ideal habit, this bigger picture goal into as many small pieces as possible. And the next layer of this is that you're going to take those small pieces and you're going to break them down even smaller until you can't make them smaller anymore. So if one of those smaller steps of reaching your goal was just finding time in your schedule, breaking that down even further is going to look like finding classes or gyms in your area and figuring out what time they're open. And another micro step in this smaller goal is going to be to find a schedule with yourself so that you can start slow with going back to the gym because we know that going five days a week starting Monday isn't going to work for you. So plan just that first time that you're going. Figure out that one class that you're going to go to at that one gym and start there. Again, it's not the most satisfying, but it is what works. Now, the next step after this is just adding the next thing. Once you've gone to the gym once and once a week to that one class or that one session is what works for you. That's become part of your regular life. That's become something that you can be consistent with. Only then do we level up. Having habits that last years and years can take weeks and months to build, and that is perfectly okay because your goal is to have long-term consistency, long-term health. You have to be patient with yourself now if you want to see your bigger goals manifested in the future, if you actually want to achieve them one day. We are taking small steps, we are introducing one micro step at a time, and we are only moving on to the next when the first one has become a regular part of your life. This is how you build healthy habits that fit into your work schedule, fit into your social life, fit into your energy levels, instead of trying to fit yourself into this idea of what fitness should look like or what health should look like or what healthy relationships or career growth should look like. This is how instead of going all or nothing with your habits, constantly going back up and back down to square one, you take slow steps to the top and you get to where you want to be and you stay there. But you have to take it one step at a time or you will always end up back in this cycle. Getting so close to where you want to be, but never quite reaching it and never being able to stay there. 
getting burnt out, feeling bad about yourself, and feeling like this is even farther away from possible for you. If you've recognized already that this is a problem for you, this is a cycle that you're stuck in, the good news is that you can take control of it, you can take action and fix it. This isn't something that you wanna put off any longer because every single day, every single minute that you stay stuck in this cycle, you just stay falling back down to square one and being even farther from getting to your goals. And when you're in this all or nothing cycle that inevitably leaves you burnt out, the burnout periods only get longer over time because you're even more and more depleted. You have even less belief in yourself. You have even less motivation to try again. It is your choice whether you stay stuck or not, but if you want somebody to help you in this process, this is what I help my clients with all day, every day. You can book a free transformation session with me in the description of this video or on my channel's page and take charge of this part of your life. Do something completely different than you've ever tried before so that you can actually find a way out of this all or nothing cycle, out of feeling so negatively about yourself, find your best health and your best confidence yet. You can't complain about wanting something different, about wanting to get out of this cycle and then not book that free call with me where I will literally tell you how to do it. There's a line between knowing why you have these problems and taking action to actually change them. And that is what I help people do. Now, one of the major ways that this cycle impacts our lives without us even realizing it is that it really impacts your trajectory in your career over time, which means less money, less satisfaction, less time off and less amazing trips around the world or living whatever your dream life looks for you. I do have a video that will teach you how to stop letting the negative beliefs you have about yourself hold you back from making more money and leveling up in your career. So I'm gonna make sure that that is what you can watch next. Watch it now or save it to your watch later. And if you're feeling extra generous, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because as a new channel, this is what's gonna help me continue to make content that's going to help you live your best life and become your most badass self. And as an extra layer of accountability, as you break yourself out of this all or nothing cycle and take your first micro steps towards your most consistent habits, I want you to tell me in the comments what that first step you're taking is. For one of my clients, she wanted to become a more consistent meditator and journaler. So one of her first steps was just trying to do 10 minutes of journaling, setting a timer for it and having one journal session. And she just knocked it out of the park. I loved hearing from her about that. So let me know in the comments, what is that first micro step you're taking? Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.